I'm really proud to be here today. Um, and thank you to Chief Woodard for um, bringing me to inviting me to this meeting. I really hope that West Carrollton sets an example for some of our other cities to do exactly what you all are doing, which is breaking the stigma and having these hard conversations around suicide prevention. So my name is Colleen Oaks. I'm with the Montgomery County Prevention Coalition. We are a group of about 300 community members all across Montgomery County. It's a lot of prevention professionals, but it's also now a lot of community members and elected officials and parents and teachers, people who understand the importance of prevention work to help save our community members before they get to the point of needing treatment for a substance use disorder or a mental health challenge. There's several coalitions across the state of Ohio. Having 300 members is pretty much unheard of. So Montgomery County is really ahead of the game when it comes to our coalition work. We have seven different subcommittees. So you can see some of our different problems of practice that we focus on. Everything from opioid prevention to violence prevention, gambling prevention, and suicide prevention is by far our most active and largest committee. There are so many individuals that have been impacted, my guess is several in this room, by suicide loss and really want to come together to address this problem. We receive our funding from the Drug-Free Communities Grant that's offered through the CDC, and then we have a 100% match uh, through the Human Services Levy that's offered through the county. Just wanted to share our mission and vision. Our mission is to mobilize Montgomery County to prevent youth substance use and promote positive mental health how do we do that? We use evidence-based strategies. Everything we use is evidence-based, research proven to be effective, and then a whole heck of a lot of community collaboration. And our vision, which I did not write, but I think gives me chills every time I read it, is a community in which every individual lives a substance-free life with optimal mental health. So I'm obviously here today to speak on behalf of our Suicide Prevention Committee, but I'm just really proud to lead this group of 300 volunteers. So let me share a little bit about what we know about suicide, what we're seeing at the national level as well as at the county level where we manage. Suicide deaths tend to fall a little bit uh, behind. Our data tends to be a couple years behind. It takes a while for suicides to be ruled a suicide and for data to, to be official. So in 2022, we had about 50,000 people that died by suicide nationally. I just want to point out that that's 138 people per day which is about one commercial jet every other day. So just imagine if we had one commercial jet crashing and all those individuals dying every other day, what the uproar would look like. And that's what we're seeing when it comes to suicide. It's one person every 11 minutes. We had a 1.7 million people that attempted suicide and our men tend to complete suicide at a higher rate than women because they tend to use more lethal means. Our Montgomery County data from 2023, I just want to share with you all, we hit the record high in Montgomery County. It's not a record we want to hold in 2023 with 101 suicide deaths. That is a 28% increase from 2020. And so I hear people constantly asking me, well, how did COVID, how did the pandemic impact this? Certainly increased our suicide rates, but it's not something that's slowed down or even evened out for us. We're at a 28% increase. As of the end of June, we had 47 deaths in Montgomery County. So we're, we're on track to continue to be hitting these really unfortunate numbers across the county. What we're seeing is our middle-aged men are our highest demographic for suicide deaths, and our African-American population has a, a very high disproportionate rating for having suicide deaths across the county. So this is the fight that we're fighting right now. And we're so glad that you're joining us in doing this because what we know is that suicide is our most preventable form of death. That's a statement from the former Surgeon General. There's a Surgeon General's warning that puts suicide deaths at the top of their priority list. And 93% of Americans say that they think that suicide is preventable. So it is all something that we can do to help prevent suicide. How can we do that? I'm hoping to share some of these resources with all of you as an ask that maybe you'll find a way to get involved yourselves, but also so that you can share some of these resources locally. 
just want everybody in this room to know what our local resources are. In Montgomery County, we have a local Help Now app that you can download um, that will bring you to substance use prevention and mental health resources across the community. We have our Miami Valley Warm Line. This is great for non-crisis situations. Somebody to talk to, somebody to reach out to if you're having a hard time. So that's, anybody can call that number um, if it's not a crisis, just to have somebody to talk to and get resources. In a crisis situation, we hope that you all are aware of 988. 988 is the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. You can call 988 from any number and you'll get connected to a local individual, an Ohio local individual, as long as we have an Ohio zip code that's able to work you through any crisis situations. About 80% of those calls are resolved over the phone. If not, there is a mobile dispatch unit that can come out to an individual to help with the crisis situation if needed. And then lastly, the crisis text line. This is another national text line, especially for our youth, but really for anybody that doesn't want to pick up the phone, this is a text line. You can text an individual and get a live person at the other end to talk through anything that you're working through or any crisis situation. Both 988 and the crisis text line have specific numbers for veterans, as well as our LGBTQ plus community, Spanish speakers, and hard of hearing communities that can be connected as well. You can also educate yourself. These are all free trainings that we offer through the Montgomery County Atomist Board that we would love for you all to consider taking, but also for you all to consider encouraging some of our West Carrollton employees to go through. QPR is a two-hour suicide prevention training. QPR stands for Question, Persuade, Refer. It's for any community member to help them navigate the situation where they think somebody has suicidal ideation to ask the question, are they considering suicide, to persuade them to get help, and then to refer them to that next step. Mental Health First Aid is a day-long training that gives individuals tools for substance use challenges and mental health challenges, again, for general community members to be on the outlook for that. ASSIST is a two-day training, so I'm getting a little bit more intense as I'm going. That really helps you uh, talk about intervention skills and then we have a Trauma 101 training that talks all about how trauma impacts the brain and those risk factors that can lead to substance use disorders and mental health challenges. That's just a small subset of the training calendar that we have at the Atomist Board, and I'd really encourage you to look into that further and to think about how to encourage your employees to participate. Chief Water trains in both mental health first aid and QPR, so you have an awesome uh, trainer right here on staff. And lastly, what you can do is get involved. I wanted to tell you about two initiatives that we have starting in the near future. We do have a suicide loss support group that we recently launched. We've had about three sessions of this so far. It's a 10-week session for individuals that have lost somebody to suicide. We don't dictate how close that loss has to be. You can dictate that for yourself. So we do one meeting a week for 10 weeks. It's a curriculum that uh, has been proven to be effective. Those are on Wednesday evenings, beginning tomorrow actually, but we do have a three week grace period for people to sign up. We are also starting a loss team in Montgomery County. So we've received funding from the Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation. This is going to be a team of two volunteers that are dispatched to the scene of a suicide to support the survivors. So one of the volunteers has to be a suicide survivor themselves. The other is a highly trained volunteer that goes out to support the individuals immediately in the aftermath. We are having a lost team kickoff on September 12th. All elected officials are invited um, to talk more about what this looks like, to work with our law enforcement, to make sure that we're not overstepping, and to make sure that our elected officials are aware of how this process will work. We plan to launch January 2025. And I want to thank you all because the last thing you can do is break the stigma by talking about it, by making known how common mental health challenges are. One in five adults will experience a mental health challenge throughout their life. And by doing proclamations and having speakers like this that allow me to shed some light on what we're seeing in Montgomery County, but also what we're doing and the amazing people that are coming together to impact this is the first step that we can take. And so I really commend you all to be able to do that.